Heights, living the good life, and I'm here with another uh, estate sale finds video, and this time it's for a Thursday, which doesn't happen very often, and that's Thursday, October 10th, uh, 5th, <laughs> I'm jumping ahead days. I want to go ahead and show you what I found. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is I went to the Thrift Clearance Center uh, this past Thursday morning, and I found the following. I found these Anchor Hawking mugs, and they are still doing the sale four for a dollar for cups, plates, um, glasses, and vases. So the two here, along with the green depression glass vase, and it's got this pretty etching of grapes on it. Oh, I guess if I put it here, you can see a little better. Uh, that was 25 cents as well. And this was the cranberry one. And so those were all a dollar. I also got uh, this. Um, oh, man, I just forgot again what it was. Let's see. Fire King. Uh, in the corn flour. So those were $2. I also found a little bit of jewelry there. And I'm going to go ahead and pan across some of the items just to show you. I got a little baggie, and in it was this charm. It's a little basket. It's got hinged. It has 925 on the bottom. And it turns out there was also these little studs that are silver. Those were sterling as well. And then there was some pearl. And here was all the... Um, jewelry that I don't think is worth much. This is a medic alert, and I know sometimes they're sterling. I don't see sterling anywhere on here. I'll check it to make sure. There's this metal. Don't know what it is. It was very pretty on that side. There's a lot of these little charms. It looks like they're a little cat, cartoon cat, along with some necklaces that have a rhinestone heart on them, the sideways cross. Here's a little precious moments pin. Uh, let's see. Some school team earrings. These little earrings here. Here's a little pewter religious pin. Oh, here's a little baby bracelet, which I will test as well, but I can't find anything on it. Um, here's a little angel pin. Um, and here's some earrings that are shaped like bows. I think there's one other heart necklace. So that's what I got. I bought four of those little dollar bags of jewelry, and that's what I found. So um, the silver that I found, was, the weight is on here, and that actually made up for it. That was um, uh, 8.85 grams of um, silver, and it was worth about $4. Um, I then went to a family... Um, estate sale and they opened a little little um, they're supposed to open at 8 but I pulled up I got done early uh, getting ready and I pulled up and there was already someone in there looking at before 730 so I went on in let me go ahead and get up here and show you what I got I took these uh, I found these right away and these are sterling at Duquesne D-U-C-H-I-N kind of like the last ones that I found um, Certainly, I found last week. These are weighted candlesticks. They were $2. So that was incredible. I also found these really beautiful. If I get here on the, the white, maybe you can see better. Look at this beautiful fern leaf that's etched into these salt and pepper shakers. I thought they were just lovely. And they are also weighted sterling. And they were $2. Um, I found this bowl in the kitchen. And it is a federal, you can't see it in the light. Uh, it's a federal bowl, it's decorated on both sides. And it was a dollar. Um, and then I found this, it's by Smith Taylor and Smith Pottery. And it has this cross stitch pattern. My mother loves this, so this is gonna be a gift to her. Uh, it was two dollars, so what am I up to? Two four, six, seven. That's all I paid because then they threw in, uh, there was a little baggie with some jewelry in it. I didn't think it was worth much, but I looked, there was this sterling silver chain and it is fairly long. There was a sterling silver bracelet that's very heavily tarnished. And then there was this pendant and, you know, I thought it felt kind of plasticky. 
but I have tested it and my, my acid's old, but I think it may be 10 carat. And if that's true, then this is probably a real opal. So this joins the ever uh, growing items, uh, list of items to double check with the new acid and probably also take to the jeweler to see if it's real. Um, I also forgot to mention that I got this little poodle keychain in with the stuff from the Thrift Clearance Center along with this metal. It's got a sheaf of wheat. Don't really know what it's like. Doesn't have much on it. But I know sometimes these can be real gold, but it's not marked with anything. Um, let's see where I went. On Sunday, uh, the 1st, I went to a garage sale, found this ring. It's marked 925 inside the band. And it's got this enamel work with the blue and then the, I've checked it with my diamond tester and I need a lot more practice at it, but I think these, these are just cubic zirconia, but it was a dollar. And then this sterling silver chain is a dollar, it was a dollar as well. It came with this cross, but it doesn't appear to be sterling. Uh, so that was two dollars I spent there. Um... Then I went to a few estate sales. There were four that I went to, and I was just crisscrossing town. Um, at one estate sale, I got these lists, the, this box. They actually had the original box, and uh, it was $5, and it had these uh, Mexican, um, looks like hors d'oeuvre forks or seafood forks, and you can see that they're Aztec, Toltec, whatever, Mayan. Um, civilization masks and cactus and um, cast churches, castles, etc. And there are, man, I forgot. Well, let me show you the box while I count. So this is where it's from. There's 12 of them, and I got those for five dollars. Um, they are um, 13, 18 uh, grams. So $8.50 and I paid $5 for them. I also got this sterling silver spoon and it weighs 20.4 grams, so it worth $10, but I only paid $2 for it. I think the little tag is still here. And these were all in the kitchen. These were just sitting on the kitchen counter. This was sitting with a lot of other um, uh, silver plate, plated items. Uh, and let me tell you, after I found that, I checked every bit of silver plate to make sure it wasn't sterling because I also found this sterling cup in the um, in the kitchen. It's international silver. Again, you can't see it real well. But um, the cup weighs 80.3 grams, which is it's worth $38 and it's $38 in its silver weight and I paid eight. Um, I am gonna show you a few more things. I got this Cameo. And it says 1-2012K. Of course, I was in a hurry. I know it's a real shell cameo. Uh, I thought it might be 12 karat, but that 1-20 makes me think it's like 1 slash 20. Uh, so gold filled. Uh, and it was around $8. I never could figure out how they charged me for these items. I was trying to count up everything in my head when they told me how much my total was. And I could never get to the right amount. I know they charge tax, but... I could never figure it out. Um, they, I also found these. Uh, these are sterling silver earrings and they have a very faded 925 here in the middle uh, and they were four dollars and they are have 12 grams of silver oh, you know, and I never I never realized that this is in here and that throws it off but it would be six dollars and I paid four. Um, I was trying to think if there's anything else there. I also bought this necklace. And I'm going to give you a close, close up on the bead. Maybe you all can tell me. Um, it's very light. I don't know if it's plastic. <laughs> if this is bone or ivory. Uh, but it's got a sterling silver clasp. And I thought, well, you know, normally you wouldn't put a sterling silver clasp on something that was really, you know, not worth anything. But it feels like these beads in the middle are plastic. So, anyways, I paid four dollars for that. Uh, I also paid four dollars for this. I'm gonna move the cup. This necklace. Um, 
I really think that this is um, turquoise in here, along with some sort of crystal or, again, I'm gonna rely on some of you all that know it. I just think that this piece at the bottom is kind of odd with these beads. This would be a big hunk of turquoise. Uh, and it was $4 as well. It's really quite long, but you can see how much turquoise there is in it. The other thing that was amazing was this. I had not found any gold in a very long time. And um, this was hanging up with all the other necklaces like this and some other ones. And I looked at it, I go, huh. <laughs> Saw the little um, link right there and it says 14 karat. And when I got home, I was able to look inside this gold part. I think it's trying to be a, maybe a pineapple. There's just something pretty at the top. And it says 14 karat as well. So I got this 14 karat gold necklace for um, $4. So I thought that was pretty interesting <laughs> to get that, um, for that amount. Um, so that was really good. And I did forget to tell you all that um, this amount of sterling uh, at the family sale is 14.5 grams for $7. And I did get that pretty much for free. Um, so let's go ahead and pan over to the other item that I got. I got this uh, plate. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. This is hand painted in these uh, kind of puce, uh, pink, burgundy-ish tones. I've looked it under a loop. There's no dots with the hand painted gold. This is a Meissen plate. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take it off its stand so you can have a look at the mark again. And this is the second time I found Meissen. Um, and here's the mark. It's the same mark as before. 1815 to 1924 but there is a line right here if I turn it that way you might be able to see it incised on it and from what I read it means that it either is lesser quality or it was sent out to be decorated painted etc by an outside company so Meissen was not going to claim that all of it was done inside their factory there was even a, a sticker on here signed Meissen cross swords and this was $12. I've looked all over the internet trying to see if I can find another one like it because I have seen things like this before and there were people who have faked Meissen's mark but that mark looked appropriate. Okay and then the last thing I did is I went to another couple of estate sales at one of them I got these earrings and I looked at them a very long time it's this very sparkly stone in the middle I kept thinking, is that a fire opal? But it's too much blue, I think. But you all can let me know. It has this type of, of closure, which also made me think gold. And I finally realized that it says 585, which is 14 karat, um, down at the bottom. So those were $4 as well. And then I saw these. These remind me of like a Mille, for, Mille Fiori. I can't even talk today. And I'm Italian. Um, Mille Fiori, um, and these are uh, sterling, and they're marked on this little part here. So always also look for a, a mark there on the earpiece, and these were four dollars as well. At the last estate sale I went to, I found these little Mexican silver with a, probably obsidian or onyx, and they are marked uh, 925 here on the back. They were uh, $3.50. Here's the little tag. And then I got this gold pin. This pin is not marked. Um, what I have learned from some other YouTubers is, is that this type of, this closure may indicate that it is older when the end of the pin comes out a ways. Uh, either way, I decided to go ahead and take a chance and it was I think it was two dollars two dollars three dollars oh wait a minute here's the tag two dollars so I am going to go ahead and check this with the old acid it was kind of testing at about 10 carat and it looks like kind of like a garnet here in the middle um, so that will go in the to be tested pile um, so that is what I got this week I hope that you enjoyed it uh, send me a comment if you know anything about these items I'd love to hear about it Please uh, subscribe if you like this type of thing. Bye-bye.